Hey, Deuce, what, what was just the most difficult thing about trying to get yards against that defense today? I mean, all props to Iowa State. They have a really good defense. They flew around all day, and, I mean, they just made plays. I mean, uh, just got to break tackles and try to make plays. I mean, they're all over the place. They have their – it's kind of like a 3-5-3, three, three, so they have their three high safeties. They have a star safety, and, I mean, they're run fit and everything like that. I mean, I just got to execute better and uh, try to make plays. Kind of like both Chris Kleiman and Cody Fletcher mentioned maybe doing some soul searching after this loss. Is there anything you guys can do as a team to come together a little bit stronger here down the stretch? Just keep battling. I mean, we're going to get back to work on tomorrow with recovery and some stuff like that. And then we're going to get back to, on Monday. And just really the leadership is what has been getting hit on. Uh, is we have to take control of our team. Uh, I mean, we've had some guys leave and uh, some things like that. But just making sure that we take control of, I mean, the dudes that we have right now, just getting back to work and not not taking anything for granted uh, coming up in the sixth week because we only have two two games left that are um, guaranteed in the bowl game and everything like that. But we're going to go give it our all. And then uh, just coming together, I mean, just every day in practice, just getting better as a team is going to be the biggest thing. And last one for me, just, just how deflating was it today and has it been recently to keep getting turned away on some of those goal line opportunities? Not deflating, I wouldn't say, was called me. I feel like our mindset on offense is if we don't punch it in that drive, I mean, we're just saying whenever we get an opportunity again, we're going to punch it and we're going we're gonna to do it on the next drive if it doesn't happen right then. Of course, we just got to execute better uh, as an offense. Uh, down when you get that close, I mean, you got to punch it in, you know, to, I mean, zero and seven points is a big difference and even three. Uh, and that's one thing that we just got to make sure that we hone in on whenever we're getting ready for these next two games. Brian. Hey, uh, Deuce, you know, given just how dynamic of a player you are, I, I find it hard to believe that you've maybe ever been involved in many shutouts. When's the last time you actually were part of a game where your team got shut out? Or has it ever happened? I believe my freshman year, uh, yeah, my freshman year of high school, we were playing and we got shut out. I forget. I think we were playing Round Rock High School. I don't remember exactly the team, but my freshman year of high school, we got shut out. Uh, that's the game that I can remember. And then w when Nick came in, you know, we usually only seen him come in and a lot of times when the games are already kind of won for you guys, he hands the ball off a lot. So with him getting more extended playing time, what's the biggest difference for you in terms of what – like how you have to play with him as opposed to when Will's in there? Because obviously they have their own preferences of how they go about calling plays and things like that. I mean, nothing really. I mean, maybe the height difference. But, I mean, <laughs> as far as as far as far everything goes, I mean, whenever Nick came in, it was kind of just business as usual. I mean, we just kind of – I mean, we don't really change anything up. We're going to go and execute off his – Coach Messingham is going to call the plays and we're going to have to go execute uh, – and I mean, nothing really changed in my eyes. And, and the last thing for me, Deuce, I guess were, were you a little bit surprised how, how the offense bogged down, given that, that on the first two plays, you know, Sebastian picked up like 29 yards and the play later you picked up eight. Did it, did it kind of feel like, well, hey, you know, maybe we've got something on track today? Well, I mean, at the beginning, I felt like we had an amazing first drive. Of course, we didn't punch it in, but I feel like that kind of we thought was going to set the tone for the rest of the game. And I mean, it didn't really uh, boil down to that, but just we can't get frustrated or get uh, tied up and say, I mean, we just went thir three and out. It's always the next play, next play, next play. We just get back to that whenever we get back to work on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday getting ready for Baylor's because it's always the next play, next play, next play. You can't be caught up in one or that first drive and say, hey, we had a really good first drive. Uh, and then come on the second drive, I mean, it's a whole new drive. Thank you, dude. So appreciate it. Absolutely. Yeah, Deuce, one thing Coach had mentioned was uh, the, the accountability issues. He said he didn't hold you guys accountable or each other accountable, both on the field and off the field. I guess, do you, how long have some of those issues been there with this team? I mean, really, I mean, the coach has been tugging and tugging and tugging at us to take leadership in our own team and take command of our team. Really, he, they always tell us this is our team, and I feel like we have to do a better job as players. I mean, whether you're a freshman, redshirt right, freshman, or fifth year senior, I mean, you have to you have to hold your team accountable because I mean, I mean days like this. I mean, 
all I want to do is get back to work. And as, as your leader, I need to be better as well. And I, I know that. And that's exactly what I'm going to work on whenever we get back to it. I'm going to hold my teammates accountable. I know they're going to hold me accountable. And whenever we start getting that click and everything, I feel like I feel like we'll be unstoppable. You feel like you already at this point in your career are one of those guys on the team that the guys will look to in that regard? Yes, sir. Uh, and I just need to do a better job at taking command of that because, I mean, I have respect for every single guy on this team right now, and I hope they have the same respect for me. So whenever it comes down to it, if, if everybody has respect for each other, you don't really need one leader at the top or five. I mean, you can have an entire team of leaders because everybody respects each other as a football player and as a teammate, and that's just the biggest thing for me. Appreciate it, Deuce. Thanks. Absolutely. Last one here, Michael. Yeah, Deuce, as a freshman, do you have that confidence to be a vocal leader in the locker room and on the field? Um, yes, sir. It's starting to get there. It's starting to come along as, as we get going and everything, of course. COVID and everything has kind of hindered being able to have a relationship with every single guy on the team because of, I mean, just close contact and everything and everything like that. But I mean, just as I respect every single guy on this team, and I mean, like I said, I need to be better at being a vocal leader because I feel like I can be able to step into that role as far as uh, everything goes. But yes, yes, sir, I do. You touched on this, but how do you go back to the drawing board when you had, I think, one third of your first downs on the first drive and uh, maybe one half of your uh, yardage on that first drive? How do you guys go back Monday and just kind of get back to work? We go and look at what we did uh, wrong. We go and look at things that we did well. And then we make up a game plan for Baylor, and then we get back to work. We just go practice, watching the film, making sure that, like I said, we're holding each other accountable during practice and just being leaders and making sure nobody's on lists and everything like that. And just as a whole, we just have to come back together and just start executing. Executing is going to be the biggest thing.